Good evening, everyone. Welcome. I hope you are having a great week so far. I'm just trying to bring you up here on my iPad. Make sure that I am. Actually, there I am. I am live. Welcome, welcome. It's Marcy here from Stampin' with Marcy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in southwestern Ontario, Canada. And I want to welcome you to my Wednesday evening live. It is Wednesday, December the 6th already. So uh, I hope you have your favorite beverage. I have my hot chocolate because that's what kind of day it is today. And um, we are going to, hello, Amy. We are going to, hello, Tammy. We're going to... Uh, get uh, started. Did you see that quick little show of my hot chocolate cup? I found this at the dollar store. I don't know which one in Port Elgin when I was up there with my sisters. So I had to make myself a cup of uh, hot chocolate so that I could uh, be sipping it tonight. <laughs> so we're going to get you flipped around here. Hold one moment. Close your eyes while I flip you around you're staring at my ring light there it's a dark evening this evening so all right get you down and then straightened up okay so all right are we good there we go all right, so the clearance rack was, um, okay, why am I paused? The clearance rack was updated yesterday. Um, so there's lots of great deals to be had. Um, still, I couldn't believe it when I saw that there was stamp sets in there. And thank you, Marg, for... Um, all right, something's going on with my iPad here. It is not showing me comments or anything. It's going really strange. So I'm going to apologize while I fiddle around with it. Let's see here. Because if I can't read your comments, then okay. All right, please stay. <laughs> All right, so tonight uh, we are going to be doing Maisie's Makes or Marcy's Merch for December. And I am doing something different this month. I am using products from the mini catalog and the celebration brochure. So... Um, yeah, you're not showing it all on my, you're not showing it all on my iPad here. So I don't know what's going on. Oh, hello, Jeannie. Um, it says Jeannie's watching with me as well. That just popped up. So, but I'm frozen on my screen. So hopefully I can't tell if I'm in camera view or not. So let's get started. All right. Uh, card number one is this pretty card here, and I am using the um, Be Mine Designer Series paper. So that is this one here. It coordinates with the Be Mine stamp set and the um, Be Builder Punch. I am in your camera view, Jeannie. It's showing me, but my image is frozen on my screen. So that's why I said I wasn't sure. Because it's just my head looking down when I look on my screen on my iPad. So I'm not sure. All right. So um, we're also using the lovely uh, Sweet Sorbet. Um, what is it? bordered ribbon and then the rainbow adhesive back dots these are um go with the um 
hot air balloon bundle. Look at how many colors you get in that. So fabulous. All right, so I chose um, the petal pink because of the petal pink here, the flowers and that stripe. And then my sentiment, I have all my little piles ready here. So this is the So Sincere stamp set um, from the mini holiday mini catalog. Don't forget about the last chance products, you guys. Um, yes, So Sincere. This is carrying over. I'm very happy about that. And my color of ink is the uh, Basic Gray. You know how I like to have basic gray for my sentiments quite frequently because I find sometimes that the black, the Memento Tuxedo Black is too harsh. So I just want to have another little sip of my hot chocolate. All right. So all of the measurements will be found on my coordinating blog post. Give me about 15 to half an hour after we are done here so that I can download this and then upload it and then insert it into uh, the coordinating blog post. All right, so let's grab our glue. So how is everybody doing with their uh, Christmas preparations? I have not done hardly any shopping yet. Um, so that could be a problem. <laughs> it could be a problem. Um, yeah, it just, I don't know. I was so focused on our family Christmas that... Um, we had last weekend here, but I haven't done anything else. And then I've got my Danny's birthday is on the 13th. So we have to do some birthday girl shopping as well. All right. So there's the inside done for the moment. Let's stamp. So, knowing you brings joy to my heart. Okay. I was looking for different sentiments to be using, and I wanted to mix and match. So, um, I was going through all the sentiments that are on my shelves so that I could choose what one I thought um, really suited what I was looking for. There we go. I didn't die cut out an extra one, so hopefully I stamped this okay. And I did. It's, it's a little to the left, but that's all right. I can deal with that. So, all right. Now, because this is vellum, I'm going to use my stamp and seal to put it on because I find that liquid glue on vellum, and that's flipped the ups, upside down. So, can you see this? There are, this is the back side. You can tell because when you look at it, you can see where that die, where the holes are poked through and they're popping out towards us. So flip it over and you can see that this is the actual front or top of that label. All right, and I'm going to, there we are. So my hands are not in my way. I am going to There we go. Oh, and it's a little crooked, but let's see if we can't pull it up without ripping it. 
are warping. Okay, let's try that again. Okay. So we had turkey soup. I made a delicious giant pot of turkey soup. There's still turkey soup in the fridge, but I did not want to have it again. We had turkey on Saturday. Then I made like a turkey pot pie uh, with the leftover um, mashed potatoes. And I'm just going to put this here like that. So that uses that up. I took the leftover gravy. There was only a little bit. So I took the gravy and um, the carrots. And, and I just finished another one. <laughs> Yay me. <laughs> so let's move on to this one. Um, I mixed the carrots with the gravy. I chopped up a bunch of turkey and then um, I added some of my frozen corn to it as well. Mix that all together, then put it in the bottom of a pie pan plate. And then I spread that out. Then I took the stuff or the mashed potatoes and spread them out over top. And then I um, topped it with that little bit of stuffing that we had and baked it in the oven. Oh my goodness, it was delicious. So this is, this is actually the opposite side. I've just cut it in half. So that way we've got our top and our bottom. So this is all together, it is four inches by five and a quarter. And then this white piece is um, four and an eighth by um, five and three eighths. So we are going to put our stripe piece down first. And we want that little bit of a border even on the sides and the bottom. I'm looking at the sides and the bottom of my... Um, I'm looking at the bottom and the sides of my white cardstock there. I'm gonna flip this so that I am looking at it. All right, so make sure that my flowers are going the right direction. So I'm lining that up. Okay, flip it back it towards me so that I can see what I'm doing and even border on the sides and the top then we're going to take let's get the lid on this oh I wish my iPad would cooperate because it's just not showing me it's so strange how it's just not, it's not showing me the, um, what's going on. All right, so I'm gonna take, I'm not measuring, I'm just eyeballing it, and I'm gonna snip so that I've got to go wrap around. So I'm gonna flip this over, and I'm going to grab my stamp and seal again, and look and see. And I'm just running a line so that I can attach my ribbon. Okay, so I'm going to line that up right there and bring that straight across like so. Give that a little. There we go. And so our ribbon is attached. I need to speed up here because I still have two more cards. All right, that is gonna go on our card front, like so. 
So Maisie's Makes and Mar or Marcy's Merch. That is a like mini card class uh, customer rewards program that I have been offering um, since May. Now it is every, um, when you place an order with me, class orders do not count. Um, if you place an order with me throughout the month, and second here, I'm holding my breath <laughs> so that I got it. Um, placing orders with me throughout the month, uh, multiple orders, one order. Um, once your order hits $60 before tax and shipping, you are qualified for either Maisie's Makes or Marcy's Merch. You can choose either the card guts. Now, nothing is stamped. You have to use your own. Oh, I did not. This one I didn't wrap around. It was the other one. Um, you use your own stamps and inks, but you'll get all the card guts to create however you see fit. Um, and if you spend $70, then uh, you get both. So $60 gets you one or the other, 70 gets you both. And it can be cumulative, meaning if you order paper pumpkin from me, um, and then you place another order th with me throughout the month, that counts. All right, so I'm just putting a glue dot right there. And then I'm going to tuck that just like so, so cute. And then we need our little, I know they're kind of hard to see because of the light color, but they're there. In person, you can see them much better. So I'm going to go one here. One up here, and one here. All right, so these are brand new embellishments as well. I thought, let's get the fun started and offer my Maisie's Makes using some of the brand new products. So, they don't, um, they're not ready to ship or to mail out or uh, be porch pickup until the start of the next month because I might have to order in product, the um, Marcy's merch. So we have to give me time for that. So here's our first cute little card. On to the next. The next one is using the perennial postage and hold please while I have another sip of my hot chocolate. It's a very full cup, so. All right, so perennial postage. And I'm also using the, um, zip. I can't think of the name. Perennial, perennial lavender. So this is a mega sweet. Um, there is a bundle called perennial lavender. I did not get that bundle. I did get perennial postage because I love some sentiments. I love to get lots of variety with my sentiments. So, um, this was a must have and like, look at these fabulous dies. They're so cute. And I went and created a fun scalloped border with that, um, the one die. So here's our bits. Okay, so sending love and best wishes. And then the inside is just like that. Oh, we got a glue booger there. All right, so 
the opposite side is uh, just the leaves. But look at how fun that is. I thought that was really cute. So I also punched out some hearts with the B Builder Punch. So I just popped that in. And they are my embellishment for this card. So pretty. Okay, so this card uses Pretty Peacock for my sentiment. And this one here I am going to stamp over to the left-hand side so that... I've got room for that one heart. Okay. Does anybody else hold their breath when they go to stamp? <laughs> or is it just me being weird? <laughs> I always do. Because I'm always afraid and I always think if I hold my breath, I'll be really still and then I won't mess up. <laughs> so, all right. So my ribbon is the Lost Lagoon Bordered uh, Ribbon. All right. So let's move you to the side. And let's bring in our glue. You always hold your breath as well, Amy. <laughs> yeah. It just... When it's really important, like a sentiment that you don't want to have um, crooked. So my strips are three quarters of an inch. They're just the off cuts from the bottom by four. And this is the basics, the 3D basic embossing folders. This is online exclusive. So let's get these out of the way. All right. And I tend to gravitate to the debossed side instead of the um, popped up embossed side. I don't know. I just, I tend to use that more often than not. I'm trying to see if I can't get my lighting is... My lighting is off tonight. All right, so we are going to add some glue to the bottom. Flip that back over to the side that I want. I just find that this side here, to me, is visually more appealing and more subtle. All right. And next, we are going to close this one up. We're going to run that stamp and seal along the bottom there again. Is that catching it? Yes. And I'm leaving my ribbon on the spool so that I can eyeball it. And I want it down a bit because I want that scallop to be popped out to be um, able to be seen. All right, and then, oh, you're a little low. Let's bring you up just a titch there. Okay sticking to my hot sweaty hands there all right and now we need our glue you know me I love my layers throw a little bit of glue on that ribbon as well So that white is four by five and a quarter. The pretty peacock is four and an eight by five and three eighths. There we 
go. Looks so lovely together. Now, we are going to, this is the one that I took to tie a knot. So I've just got a little piece that I'm just going to take and then snip and snip. And then I'm gonna take a glue dot and I'm gonna tuck that right under there. So that keeps that secure. There we go. Now we can fold and burnish our base. And apply the liquid glue. And then our insert. So this could be a birthday card, an anniversary card, a shower card, sending love and best wishes. A, um, you're going on an adventure. A retirement. That sentiment can be used, in my opinion, for anything. All right, so now, because I have my little baby dimensionals, the minis, we're going to need a few of them. And I like lots of support to my elements. So I want to make sure that I've got lots of dimensionals on there so we don't have any saggy bits. Just checking my comments are showing up again. Yay! I have no idea how many people we have watching this evening. All right, so this is gonna be centered. So I'm taking my reverse tweezers again. And I think that looks good there. And before I press, I'm gonna lift that up to make sure it looks fairly straight. Okay, so then I'm going to add a heart here, a heart here, and then a heart um, here. All right, so I've got a little bit of glue, maybe not quite enough there. And then I'm just gonna take and place my heart there and there and then the one up here so cute but I'm not done make sure we're looking fairly straight there oops that one needs to dry a smidge all right so then Wink of Stella. I'm gonna have a sip while um, I give that a second more. Isn't it funny how your hot chocolate can go from way too hot to drink that you're gonna burn your tongue to, oh my goodness, it's cooling down quickly. All right, and our last one. Yeah. 
And there is card number two. So sparkly and pretty. And there we have that. What do you think? Love these colors together. All right. So card number three. So these are both, these papers are in the um, mini, the spring mini catalog. Our next card, look at how pretty. This paper is from the Celebration brochure. So this, and I even fussy cut the inside little flowers. So this um, is stippled rose. Uh, there is a bundle in the um, mini catalog that um so this is that paper here this is called softly stippled 12 by 12 designer series paper so this is celebration meaning when you spend 60 dollars uh before tax and shipping you can choose this paper as your free celebration rewards so they've got all kinds of different patterns in here that coordinate with different um different uh, bundles and that that are products that are in the mini catalog. All right, so I thought it would be fun to take the rose bundle and color it. I mean, it would be just as pretty if it was um, in the left as is, but I thought it would be really pretty if I colored it. And my ribbon, this is from the annual catalog. This is the Pool Party Grow Grain ribbon. So, and then this is another pattern from that um, softly stippled. And then we're also, we're using these, these gems are uh, from the mega sweet the um perennial sweet so i'm using these ones here i thought they looked really pretty and then my sentiment is from charming sentiments and this is in the annual catalog all right so let's stamp first all right so to stamp what I did was, I'm gonna, because it is a photopolymer, get this out of the way, I wanted to make sure that I had my spacing correct. And this one doesn't have a bow or a knot, it's just laying over top. And I think I like this orientation here, like so. Again, with the um, basic gray. Hello, Melissa. Yes, new stuff. So again, this is the uh, Maisie's Makes for December. So place a $60 order, a minimum, gets you either the uh, cards, the card guts, and then this is going to Um, or $70 gets you the embellishments. And this month's embellishments, I don't even think I told you. Because I was so excited about this stuff. Where are they? They're on my desk here somewhere. I had them out. Oh, there they are. So this month, the embellishments are the Faceted Gems Trio Pack. So you get to either choose the card guts or the faceted gems with every $60 order before tax and shipping placed this month. All right. 
So let's get to coloring. I didn't do anything fancy with my coloring at all. My leaves for the roses are the um, light soft sea foam and the flowers themselves are light fresh freesia. So I'm just going to quickly color them in. And in some areas, it is kind of tricky to figure out what is a rose petal and what is a rose leaf. You could color these with the blends. You could color these um, with a sponge dauber and your inks. You could color these with um, your watercolor pencils. Okay. And then I can tell this is a bud. So the rose buds always have that bit of green that it's poking out of. So I'm just guesstimating here as to what is and isn't a leaf. And some areas are a little harder to judge than others. Okay, like this area here. Okay, we've got, there's the stem. And I'm going to call this all green. And then this one here, I can see that bud flower is coming through. And then, all right. I'm not sure, I think, I'm not sure if that's leaf or not. So again, this is celebration products, this paper. All right, so I'm gonna guess that that, that's gonna be that flower leaf. So, I'm going to do the one completely, then go to the other. All right, so. It's going to be quite a while before we see roses here in southwestern Ontario. As we are just coming into the snowy season, it was snowing earlier today. It's difficult to do when you're not right over it. I'm trying to guess what is the rose. You could color these different colors as well. You could have your buds be like a soft yellow, like um, lemon lolly. The light would be a pretty. Trying not to color the white. 
Okay. The way that is, I'm saying that that is a curled rose petal. All right, and we've got some open space here and here and here. And I will look up and see if there's any questions when I'm done coloring. So I started, I mailed out a bunch of Christmas cards today. That was batch number one. I've got some more to do. I'm finding if I just do a little batch at a time, it's a little less overwhelming. I think what am my 50, 50 cards? And I'm always sure that I've missed somebody. All right. So then I'm going to come in and I'm going to bring right there. Okay. So there is the one rose cluster done. Now... Let's do the other, and this one is, okay, that is a leaf, and we've got leaves here, and this is a leaf. All right, does that look? Okay, we've got this. And here. All right, I think that's good. Hello, Marina. How are you? How was your uh, Christmas concert? I remember those. Your order arrived yesterday. Did you have fun playing? Did you get time to play? This is the only playing... I've done, did these yesterday. I needed a break from filling in cards. So I came downstairs. I have my cards all over the dining room table. So I came down and looked at my stuff to see what I wanted to create my Maisie's Makes with. And I came up with this. Giving everybody that shops with me in December with that qualifying order a chance to be playing with a little bit of stuff before they would get catalog products. All right. Okay, so now I can see, now that that rose is oh, right there, done, I can see I can add just a titch more green right here. All right, we are good. So there is the cluster for the front, and then that's for the inside. All right. I just thought, why not use those edge pieces to make the inside pretty like the outside? Come on, glue. 
There we go. So what happens when you don't put the lid on right away, your glue kind of gets gummy and doesn't come out. All right, so there's that pretty bit on the bottom corner. Yep, we're good. Close that for the moment while I fold and burnish. All right, there it is. Looking for my bone folder. And Tammy, you have a birthday coming up in a few days as well. Do you have big birthday plans? Oh, I put that on wrong. Ha ha. It's going sideways. <laughs> so let's put it at the top. I forgot that this card was landscape mode. All right, so this is the top corner instead of the bottom. Because I was not paying attention. Whoops, I wasn't paying attention. But that looks pretty up there in that top right corner. All right, so let's bring in our DSP here that goes Along here. I always like to lift it up, push down so that it is flush at the bottom. And then my trusty stamp and seal. Actually, going to add just a titch. It's just a teeny, teeny, tiny. I don't know if the camera's going to pick up that shininess right there, just to hold that ribbon. Like so. So now that is stuck to the front, it's not gonna be going anywhere. I can wrap and stretch that across the front and wrap. There we go. You can also take your stamp and seal. You don't wanna use the glue and run a strip to hold that down in place and then and this is fresh freesia five and three eighths by four and three eighths this again could be a birthday card or a shower card whatever you might need. It's a great sentiment. And if you wouldn't mind doing me a huge favor and share my video. Sharing is caring and it's how I reach more crafty friends, customers, and team members. If you're watching the replay, welcome. I'm so glad you tuned in. If you're watching on YouTube, you are definitely watching the replay. Welcome. Thank you for uh, watching. Don't forget me to give me a thumbs up on YouTube. Um, you like it this way? I think you like it this way. Um, give me a thumbs up. Hearts on Facebook. Don't forget to uh, 
click that subscribe button on YouTube so you don't miss any future videos from me. All right, so I'm just, I'm just checking to see where, I don't wanna have a, I don't wanna have my um, dimensionals hit that. So I'm just checking to make sure that I've got, and that's gonna be okay. And then I can take and slide them in otherwise with my take your pick tool I can add a few more but I want to make sure that I've got enough support all right so was it this way or was it it was this way so I think I'm gonna hit did I take these off nope I get turning it around and then I'm like, which way did I have it? And I think this way on an angle. There we go. And now I can take a look and see, and I've got some space under this area here. So I can take, I'm just taking my take your pick tool I've taken the backing off and I'm just going to gently lift up and put that in. And then again on this side and I'm going to just gently lift that up. Oh, and we're not in far enough. There we go. And there. We are now nice and solid. We don't have any gaps anywhere that it's going to um, kind of smush down. And then we need to put our, so there's that. So now we need to put our gems. So I'm gonna go one. Whoa, that was a big dollop. Two, and then one over here. Now I put this one the opposite orientation than my original, and that is A-OK. -okay. And a big one down here. There we have it. Oh, so pretty. And I put too much glue there. So I'm gonna take my, take your pick tool, wipe it and use my hand. And there we have our third card. Okay. So one, to make sure that we are in camera view for all of them. And three. So that is December's Maisie's Makes or a Marcy's Merch. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you like these? Um, do you like what I've done with the DSP? Thank you, Jeannie. I am so glad that you like them. Um, I think this one is my favorite. I love my roses, but it's so pretty. Yeah, so you would get the card guts. Um, nothing would be stamped, nothing would be colored, but you would get all of the bits. You would just have to stamp your uh, sentiment and do your own coloring if you chose to do that, um, or you choose the um, Marcy's merch, or if you spend seventy dollars, you get the three cards as well as the embellishment. So it's like a little mini class. 
um, as a thank you from me. Uh, you had lots of fun. Um, not too much playing. You're working almost every day. Yeah, because of the season. It happens. All right. I've been almost an hour, but we've got three cards. So does anybody have any questions? Don't forget if you're shopping in my online store to use this month's host code on orders under $200. Don't use the code if your order is over $200 because you're going to get your own rewards and I want you to get the rewards that you have earned. All right, that is all for me today. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I truly do appreciate it. I hope I have um, inspired you this evening. I hope you enjoyed that little sneak peek of brand new products coming your way. Uh, yes, Marina, I will see you on Saturday for our team Christmas party. I am really looking forward to that. Um, I haven't figured out what kind of punch I'm making yet. I'm in charge of punch and I'm not quite sure. I have to look up some recipes. Um, I know I have to make punch without oranges because Connie is allergic to oranges. So no oranges. So I'm going to do a Pinterest search for a fruit punch without any orange juice in it. I'm sure there's going to be lots. So, yeah. I haven't figured out our make and take for Saturday either. It will be new stuff for sure. Uh, Jeannie, your stuff should be arriving. Um, I think when I was at the post office, I think yesterday, the, your stuff went out yesterday. So it should be here by Friday, I believe. Um it said so yes all right thanks again you guys i truly do appreciate you spending some time with me uh, don't forget to share my video uh, don't forget to click that subscribe button as well as notification bell give me a thumbs up leave me a comment i love to hear from you i'd love to know where my viewers are coming from all right i will uh see you next week bye for now